Joining us here at Post 9, Telsey Advisory Group, Dana Telsey. It's great to have you. Welcome. Thank you for having when me. When you came in, you, you were talking about the new Aritzia store in Soho here in Manhattan. Aritzia is a stock we don't talk about that much because it trades in Canada, but it's a, you know, it's up 90% over the last year and it's about five and a half billion dollar company. Is that a good one? Look what they're doing. I mean, what they're doing is they're attracting the mom and the daughter. It's beyond just the super puffs that have been so appealing. They're creating awareness in the U.S. through their stores, and they're inviting. So the new store that opened in Soho is one of their largest stores, and I was there on Thanksgiving Day, and there was traffic. I think you can see more things like this with physical retail that's attracting consumers. You mentioned the super puff. So this is their trendy jacket. Yes. It's very popular. And importantly, the weather has turned colder because all the retailers last quarter were complaining about how warm it was and how that was hurting profitability. A big change. Help for Thanksgiving weekend. You take a look what happened here where it's 30 degrees. It drove sales. It drove traffic. And you know what? It drove giftables. Because whether you're thinking about sweaters, scarves, or hats, that's what you need when it gets colder. That helps us with Black Friday weekend. So who, which stocks do you like off of this? Who's, who, who's winning and who's underestimated? So I think who's winning for Black Friday weekend it continues to be Abercrombie and Hollister. Hollister's promotions were lower than last year. Bath & Body Works is always a Black Friday winner, whether it's the new items that they have or the new scents. You take a look also at Ralph Lauren, which has expanded. And then you know who is the surprise this holiday weekend? Victoria's Secret. There were lines Hi. at Victoria's Secret stores around the country Beyond just giftables, they're gaining improvement given the fact that now they have sport out too. And you have first the implementation of what the new CEO is going to do. That was the big surprise over the holiday weekend. Would you say it's a, been a lost season for electronics? Yes. I mean, we know that Best Buy's comps improved up 5%, but you're not hearing as much about it as you had in the past. I was in Best Buy at 7.30 on Friday morning, and there were some people there but it's more the lower-priced items than the higher-priced right. items. There's been some discussion that it might be a wait for some kind of groundbreaking PC to drive traffic, right? We need that, and luckily CES is coming up in January, so we'll see what the new items are. So when it comes to who is seeding share, who do you think is Kohl's is seeding share. H&M is seeding share. I think in footwear you may have the DSWs that are seeding share. Because one of the areas that has seen strength with newness, it is footwear. You look at Birkenstock, you look at On, you look at Hoka. They've been working, and now boots are back because it's gotten cold outside. Is Nike getting any love this holiday season? No. Not Nike's yet. only no. getting more promotional, not mm. less promotional. All right. Got to wait for Elliot Hill. Find out exactly. what his strategy is. Uh, Dana, thank you very much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Dana Telsey from Telsey Advisory Group.